Hello everyone. All those people who are waiting in the express entry pool or who just follow the round of invitations of the express entry draws would be aware that the last draw was a PNP specific draw and it has been one week and Canada hasn't conducted any draw since then. And since the start of this year, Canada has been following that trend of uh, conducting a CEC draw after a PNP draw. So why the CEC draw hasn't been conducted this time, there are a lot of rumors going around, especially all because of what is happening in the immigration world, especially uh, the border changes that came into effect on September 7th, then the Canadian elections which are due in just a couple of weeks time, then there is also the travel ban from Canada, so many things going on and so many rumors going on. So in this video, we'll try to analyze which of these rumors have some weightage. However, no one can tell you what is exactly that's going to happen next. Would you finally get to see FSW draws being conducted once again? And if they are conducted, then what could be the cutoff scores in the next couple of draws based on the CRS score distribution of candidates? We will talk all about it in this video. And before we discuss all of that, I quickly want to remind you of subscribing to the new channel Dreamers Abroad. That's the new Hindi vlogging channel and we are uploading some really fun content over there. So if you want to enjoy some Indo-Canadian vlogs full of fun and excitement, do not forget to click the subscribe button so that you can get to see whenever we upload those videos. Okay, so getting back to the topic of the video, the next express entry draw, 204. Since the start of this year, a PNP draw was followed by CEC specific draw, but this time that hasn't happened. So next day after the draw was conducted, since September 2nd, people were expecting that the CEC draw would be conducted and hopefully the cutoff score would be somewhere around 400. But of course that is not something that has happened yet. And today, while I'm shooting this video, it's Wednesday, Canada conducts the draws on Wednesday. So today people were expecting that there would be a draw, but yes, the draw hasn't been conducted today as well. So what's in store? Let's see the trend. You'll always find a PNP draw followed by a CEC specific draw. Here you see. PNP draw was followed by another PNP draw but that was because of the massive CEC specific draw that was conducted just before that and then after that there were these two CEC draws that were conducted one after another but here we see that the total number of invitations that were issued were close to 6000 so maybe they actually broke down one CEC specific draw into two and that's why you see this consecutive CEC specific draws here. So what could be the next draw and when would it be conducted? Nobody can tell you the exact answer for that but yes there are certain possibilities. First of all of course there is a chance that another CEC specific draw would be conducted sometime down the line maybe this week or maybe next week then there's a chance that they skip the CEC draw for once and conduct the PNP draw and, and then continue again with the old trend. But there's a third possibility as well where they conduct the all program draw. In fact, the first all program draw of 2021. And I'm pretty sure that thousands of people are actually waiting for that moment. So if that happens, what could be the cutoff score? We'll talk about that towards the end of this video. But before that, let's also talk about some of the important factors people are talking about in social media in the Facebook groups a lot. First of all, of course, the border changes. So effective September 7th, Canada has permitted all the fully vaccinated travelers to enter Canada even for tourism purposes. It's a really good sign that Canada might start conducting the FSW draws once again because they believe that things are getting back to normal. So yes, this factor can actually work in the favor of the FSW draws being started once again. Then after that, another factor which is being talked about a lot these days is the Canadian election. The federal election are scheduled for 20th September, less than two weeks from now. So could that be a reason that the FSW draw would be conducted? I highly doubt about it, guys. Whichever party wins these elections, I highly doubt that there would be any short-term effects on the immigration as such. So definitely the elections won't affect any express entry draws for sure. Then of course there's the flight plan from India uh, which was extended until 21st of September. Now important point to note here is that the last time it was announced was on August 9th which was, which was exactly one month before. So 
somewhere this week or next week we are expecting an announcement once again about the ban being lifted or extended once again but again this flight ban won't actually affect the express entry draws because of course anybody getting the ita would take months to travel to canada so this is not something that would affect the express entry draws then comes another factor which is the fourth wave of covid in canada it was predicted that the fourth wave would be somewhere in fall the fall has already started however it hasn't been officially announced by any government that yes we are officially into the fourth wave but the covid cases in canada are rising and many people are saying that there's no doubt that canada is now in the fourth wave already and yes it is being said that it could get worse than the third wave which was actually very bad in canada as well so maybe we could experience more lockdowns and things might get bad once again so in that scenario canada might be continuing again with the cec and pnp specific draws so as i said right in the starting of the video nobody can actually predict what's going to happen next the next draw would be a cec draw or an all program draw or when the next draw would be conducted Nobody can actually tell you exactly about it right now until it is out there on the Canada.ca website. There are good chances that Canada might conduct the FSW draws for the first time in 2021. I know all the people who have been waiting in the express entry pool and actually your patients have already been tested a lot. So I don't want to give any false hopes to anyone that yes certainly you could expect the FSW draws right away after this. But yes, at the same time, I don't want to discourage the optimism because yes, there's a great chance that Canada might resume the FSW draws sometime very soon, maybe the next draw itself. Well, okay, if that happens, then what could be the cutoff score? So as we know that the cutoff score actually depends on the number of invitations issued. If that number is higher, then you could continuously see the cutoff score getting dropped in the upcoming draws. And if that number is lower, then the drop might be pretty marginal. Until June, around 7,000 invitations were issued. Around 7,000 invitations were issued in every two weeks. But then slowly we saw that the number dropped to 5,000 and now to around 3,500 or so. So yes, while this would be one factor, you would certainly agree with me that as soon as that people would know that the all program draws have been started, all those who have been discouraged for this complete year would get excited and you'd see many more profiles here so yes there would be many other factors but looking at the current shape of this express entry pool we see that the number of candidates above the score of 481 are already more than 8000 excluding these 540 people who would have got the ita in the last express entry draw so you know certainly that the cutoff score would be above 480 for sure until and unless canada actually conducts a huge express entry draw inviting more than 10,000 people but yes if and when they keep conducting the FSW draws then you can expect the cutoff score to drop but the drop in the cutoff score won't be steep because you see that the 11,000 in fact more than 11,000 people waiting in the CRS score range of 471 to 480 so all in all around 19 20,000 people are actually already waiting in the express entry pool whose cutoff score is above 470. In the remaining of the year, we would expect that around 8 or 9 draws may be conducted and in that time span, if the number of invitations issued are around 3000, then it is very difficult that the cutoff score would drop below 470. So all the people who are below 470, you should definitely uh, search for other options. But yes, all those people who are above 470 should stay hopeful. If the FSW draws are conducted, then there is a chance that the cutoff score might drop to somewhere in the range of 470 to 480 this year but yes all of that depends on the fact that when canada actually conducts the all program draws because we all know that it's a matter of when it's not a matter of if they would certainly conduct the all program draws but we don't know when again as i don't want to give any false hopes so i won't say that the next draw or the draw after that would be an all program draw but yes there are high chances that those could be the fsw draws and especially because they have held this one draw for a long time the chances of the next draw becoming an all program draw are also pretty high whatever happens i'll certainly update you about that i have been doing this for more than three years now and i know you trust me on that so if you haven't subscribed to the channel do not forget to click the subscribe button and also for the new channel as well 
Dreamers Abroad just been started last month and we've already got more than 1000 subscribers. So if you're not one of them, do not forget to subscribe to this new channel as well. Thanks a lot for watching this video.